is with the iron shells on him. Uh, TZ not a healthy man. Jirx, in fact, is going to flip the sprint on. He's got crush up. Uh, TZ has mana for the waveform away if he wants to trigger off the one charges. But this turns into almost like a like a I was like a standoff. Until Crit picks him up, Jirax, there's your double crush, S4, burning down Crit, needs a little bit more damage with the waveform, the body block from Arteezy won't do enough, he'll get one kill however, and if Arteezy can pick up a double, it's gonna make it worth it! More than worth it for Arteezy, it's two solo kills as well, so that gets him all the way up to level 5, doesn't have much HP or mana left, but the beauty of this is, your support can then respawn and come and help out your lane if you really need, for now the Rubik will TP mid, Look for a pick off on Honor, he's used the banish and that's Q time for Crit to engage. Yeah, Crit slips in behind, gets the grab, the mail, the clap, plus the extra swipes. Anna is brought down by Rubik while up on top lane. Arteezy's on the run into the tree lines. He needs more life to survive. Moves up, sandwiched in between the two iron shells. The stun is out, but Jirax into the trees, down to 22 HP. He's regening with the tangos, but where's the TP support? Rotation's coming in from Crit. This was scouted out by the Observer Ward. So Jirax knows his time is low. S4 will tank it, basically running cover fire. Oh. So S so Jirax can escape, but still Crit. Fresh Observer Ward down. He's looking for that slaughter. And he's gonna find him. Attack him once. The crush from Jirax. Run backwards. Where do you go? It's a rock and a hard place and a crit from Crit with a fade bolt into the trees. Jirax takes the hit with the sprint. It was a guaranteed heal kill. With the amplification of damage. You understand too when you see that Iron Town that Notal wants to just slip inside the jungle and farm up as much as he can. Universe comes over to try and contest that if possible. Crit. Ah, okay, Crush is out and this will be maybe an easy kill. Crit's looking to deny himself up to Ancient so Jirax has to time this up quite right. OD Imprisonment, that's a level 3. You know, that is one very, very dead crit. Yeah, Jirax has been all over the map to try and make sure they can get these kills early on. He's paid for it with his life a cup to mail. Starts, all right, doesn't actually let the, uh, the clap go. Uses the slower set from Zyne to make sure he's 100% in range and fly. Then only can Shallow Grave, the TP's available while Universe has the battery assault. Fly knows he can't get out of this one. Yep. So, good rotation from EG, they'll find the kill. Top lane, Arteezy once again, every time we see a kill in another lane. Waveform out, S4 being attacked. He's still iron shelling, iron shell, iron shell burning Arteezy. But it's not enough There's damage. Four heroes enough. converging. Okay. Well, if you want to commit, OG, this is that. Universe is coming up here, but he's going to find himself running into a lot. Cogs. Oh, okay, he's going to get imprisoned. RTZ, more TP supports on the way. That's the Ursa coming in. Samal wants to join the fight. Clockwork, hook shot, tries to get a little bit of a stun with the Cogs. Splits up the fight. They'll get a one for one trade off. S4 still trapped inside the Cogs. Will break free now. The Astral in prison, keeping Samal out of this fight. They get ahead as uh, No Tell stretches over 5,000 now. Uh, but the Morphling. Sitting at 3.9k. Long way to get to his items. Sumail having a lot of issues. Trying to come down for that 10 minute rune. Gonna get imprisoned up. Supports the universe. Hook shots in. As he isolates Anna. Forcing S4 back out again. Sumail trying to fight. But now they're back inside the cogs. Locked in with universe. Crit has the actual imprisonment available. Can buy a little bit of space. Does it himself. And now the Ursa pops back out again. He'll die. As it was Anna's astral. Does the damage when he reappears. Yeah, Sumail ran back in now to the mid lane but both EG supports back behind the tier 1 tower to relative safety and in fact universe hook shot now he jumps gets the cogs out astral imprisonment just a defensive one Zysel has that fire blast plus the ignite so they lock him in with the blade melt turned on from universe no one really wants to attack him the stun from Jirax keeping crit in control of Samal back in the fight with the slow no tell arrives with the radiance burn this is the worst time for EG to fight they've already lost two and they've got no other choice Samal's on the front line Zy cannot save his teammate Samal will fall the Aegis will be triggered. Zai back behind the tower. Won't die of the Radiant Sperm, but Samal stranded alone with no friends. And the tier 1 tower to go down as well. Oh, Fantastic yeah. maneuvering from OG. Yeah, it's the same as last game. They get the Radiant in an amazing position. They've got a mech coming soon on the oh, darks here. Zai. Uh -oh. He thinks he's good, but he doesn't understand. There's an invisible outlaw devourer just looking to knob him from behind. And maybe, okay, imprisonment and just drop the nuke. All right. Message sent, message delivered, and message received. Yeah, overkill, but... TZ waveforms up, Anna still right behind him. Crit and Samal are in the neighborhood. The replicate of the OD is created. So Arteezy has a small little way to get down. In fact, he joins the rest of his team! They pick up, throw him back with Crit, get the double stun, but it's already too late. With the Morphling dropping down, and Zai copping huge amounts of damage from the Shadow Wave of Fly. 
That is not what EG needed now. He's behind the Alchemist, as is always going to be the case. He's still in a position where this game can turn for EG with his split push and just pressure on the other lanes. But the jump is out. They manage to find to Samael a little bit too far out. He does actually have the Enrage plus regeneration, but the problem is he needs to get away from g who has Crush a bubble. So you start up the Enrage. There goes your first Crush. Damage won't be huge, but it will be enough. Both of the big cores of EG picked off within the space of a minute is the man to come back and he actually blinks up he's hunting Arteezy into the tree line who waveforms starts his TP Jirax oh! oh! he gets the stun Are you he kidding finds me? him he isolates Arteezy body blocking him out as well Arteezy now tries to fight but the rest of OG they're on their way special delivery for Arteezy OG the delivery service they'll hold him in with the fact that more iron shells he'll take the damage from the imprisonment when he comes out and Anna is on a monster kill streak and Arteezy is pushing up the daisies. EG do the best thing they can. They're trying to get Roshan. Samael's inside the pit. No tell knows he's got to go down there and check it with the weave out as well. They're losing armor. Samael locked in a corner, trying to man mode this on the telekinesis. Maybe he's got enough damage to bring down No tell. No, he doesn't. He's got nothing of the sort. Crits on the run. S4 is right behind him. Back and back in again. EG, this has gone bad to worse to absolutely disastrous. And it's not even done yet. Jirax found universe. I'm so He may not even get back to base. Let me check this guy's PC. What, what was that? That is just an insane read of the game. Doing it at the time as the TP was shot. Down they go. No steal. Push out. Universe. Bail, 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 bail. Oh, the crushes are there. He that's, went for the glory play. I mean, that's what you know. That, that, that sums up this game for EG. They have to make super high risk He's stolen by the Rubik all these things are slowly adding up for EG which gives him a fighting chance but four star forward from Anna Dribble get the grab some mail opens up the OD still has the Aegis immortal remember he wants to die but Wall and the back dragging EG back into death this is OG with the big push buyback is up Aegis immortal has been triggered so Arteezy's back to the front lines but then the four star Jirax he pushed Sai into his crush and this is the mid Rax. EG again in a position where they come in preparation. No tell moves over. They see the Ursa is just a replicate at the moment. And Samael jumping on the back lines finds Fly. Shallow Grave will protect him. He needs a better target. Moving between them. The BKB timing wasted. Fly will be able to drop now. And Morphling hard, fighting hard. Jurax will drop down low. Zai wants to finish him off, but really it's up to Samael if he can do any level of damage. Or it's over. It's GG. OG have done it.